so hello guys welcome back again with new video so in this video we are going to configure a web server over the aws cloud so let's start this video okay so for configure and what first what is server server is the one who provides services these services may be any kind of services maybe web server mail server ftp server dns server any server so in this video we are going to see how to configure that server you know web server is just a concept name we have different different product available for a web server one uh, most of the famous is nginx and second is apache httpd okay so first in this video we are going to see how to configure apache httpd software so in the server client model we have two things one is server side and second is the client side and client is the one who request to the server through a protocol that is http protocol that is working on a port number 80 so what are the steps we can use to configure any web server so so first one is install the software we have to install the software uh, like httpd software a second we have uh, the file that is configuration file or we can say document root we have to go to that path and configure the web page or we can put the content on a web page and last step is start the services now we have a software so we can have to start the services okay so let's start the video Okay, so this is our management console of AWS cloud. So we are going to use in this management console, they have a different different services, all kind of services, all the technologies they are exist in the world, they are have. So now we are going to use the service that is EC2. In EC2, our requirement is to launch instance. Okay. So I'm going to use Amazon Linux AMI2 because this is uh, like uh, this is a Linux server and in future we are going to discuss why we are using this. Now we have a different different machine type. Uh, this machine type have different resources connected with them. So I'm using uh, T2 micro that is free tire eligible and second is we have to configure instance details for number of instances, VPC, subnet, these kind of things we have to configure. And next is we have to uh, add a storage. Uh, we, by default, we have a root drive where the OS is installed and OS will be retrieved. And we can add some extra storage also like a pen drive. And now we are going to add a tag. So I'm going to WS HTTPD. Okay. So this is a security group. Security group is like our security guard in our home or in our ATM. So first uh, they will uh, they will check we are uh, the server is allowing or not. So we have to give the permissions. So we are giving a permission that is SSH, that is remote secure, uh, that is secure cell. We can access through a remotely, and we are going to use uh, we are going to use HTTP also the protocol we are going to use. The client will come and hit to the server, so they have one protocol that is HTTP. So we have to allow that services the protocol. That is TCP protocol, and we are using this 00. That means a universal IP. It means anyone from the world can able to connect that, or we can use a, a specific IP also. The only my IP is going to be connected here. So now that is review and launch. We can see each and everything. Now I'm going to use secure key. What is key here? Key is like a password. We have one key and through that we are going to use. So here our operating system. It is the instant 
instance of state is in a pending state so we can wait for some times so i am using this instance because they have one feature first this is uh, linux and we are going to perform our practical over the linux and we, this instance this is only the instance provide web portal ssh so i am using this instance uh, linux first this is a linux and we are going to perform our practical over the linux and second it will provide the uh, remote con uh, remotely we can access through a web portal so just we need to connect that not no any other instance type are providing this kind of features here yeah. so we need to connect that now we can see our instance state in running now so we have this option connect that is enabled now the username is ec2 the public ip address we can copy that and now connect through a web portal we are accessing a linux operating system or instance that is available on a somewhere in a world in a data center so we can check the status so this is the whole information about the operating system we can see we have one cpu the model name each and everything all the information now i am going to now i am going to use root root will have a unlimited power so that's why i am going to use root now what is our first step what we have discussed to install a software so we are using httpd so um yeah sorry um install httpd the package is installing so this they need permission we have to install or not so we can put y here it will mean yes now our software is installed software is installed now we can check through a rpm minus q query yeah we have a software now our second step is to configure a file so what is the path so the document by default document by default means we can change that document root so we have to go to var www.html now we don't have any content so now we can add put some content here index.html so cat what we i i am httpd from AWS cloud great save that we can by using cat we can also see the content okay now we what are our what is our third step is to start the services so we have we can we have a command that is system ctl first we need to check the service status uh, that is we can say they are here uh, that is inactive dead so we can start that now check the status yeah great so we have our instance public ip through public ip we are going to access the web page now put that here yeah we can see i have httpd from aws cloud or we can use command line also we have a command line you can say <coughs> command line web browser that is curl command yeah we can say here yeah. so by this way we have configured our web servers on the aws cloud i hope you like the video if you like please hit the like button subscribe to my channel as well as share to your friends